Hello my beautiful Taurus. This is Messages in a Bottle. It is an open-ended love reading for the month of May. It's a final and fourth weekly reading that I do for May. And this is really intended to bring you messages that Spirit has divinely guided me to bring you. It can be about past, present, future. It'll be however it resonates with each one of you. And we're going to look at your overall energy. For anyone who would like to enter the contest, subscribe, like the video, leave a comment. For anyone in would like to book a personal reading um, you can find the information in the description box below and you can text me directly from my website to talk about your reading and you know to answer any questions so if I don't answer it means I'm doing a reading so I will always get back with you so anyway I hope everyone's doing well subscribers thank you so much for backing me up and really helping me grow the channel and for being here for me and welcome to all new visitors I hope you enjoy your stay the fates Ooh, Taurus what is going on the fates we have to see what destiny is calling up for you past present or future you'll decide round and round ah uh, something that you've been undecided about so something that you've been undecided about will be decided by circumstances perhaps Ooh, serendipity good fortune so taurus messages for taurus what do our taurus friends need to know welcome watchers cross watchers also love all of our cross watchers i'm wondering if i should do a video for only cross watchers should I do a week where I do cross watcher videos or feature them or once a month? I don't know. Well, you tell me in the in the comments below. Tell me if you would like a cross watchers video. All right. So let's see the energy at the bottom of the deck. Ooh, beautiful single single life that's very abundant, good, it's happy, beautiful daughter of swords energy which is very much about being inquisitive. Mm, needing and wanting to walk away from something and move to something better. Wheel of Fortune, Fates. All right, turn in your favor. The Wheel of Fortune turns for you. All right, so here we go. For our beautiful Taurus friends, what are the energies Taurus needs to know about? Ace of Pentacles, a brand new offer, a new opportunity being very abundant as a single person. And look at this manifestation of a legacy relationship slash marriage, however you would like to define that. The hanged man, you've been waiting around for this. Also we get, this is Virgo energy and this is fire sign energy. Okay, we have the King of Swords here, the Father of Swords, which is very detached, intellectual, head over heart, you know, decisions that are very rational based on fact, that that energy comes into play. And you might be dealing with an Aquarius. The Hanged Man indicates that you're looking at things from a different viewpoint. And the Hanged Man is Cancerian energy. Ooh, Judgment, Scorpio energy. Something will arrive and something will go when you have serendipity. Good luck is in your ballpark. In the past, you have felt very sad about a situation. Um, just, you know, some of that just means that you're also at the end of a cycle of unhappiness. We like that. And we have five of pentacles feeling left out in the cold judgment card all right so you're either going to leave somebody in the cold or you're going to be left you know you're going to deal with the fact that you feel as though someone left you in the cold oh beautiful energy three cards fell out i'm going to take them the sun wow outcome card of the sun the eight seven of pentacles indicates that you're willing to work on something more or in a more fulfilling way and it is time for the fork in the road you're not going to make a decision right now again you're going to wait for some timing to set in here all right what why is the ace of coins here for our beautiful Taurus friends 
Why is the Ace of Coins here? I'm going to move those cards. You notice tarot readers are like super fussy about their cards. <laughs> we just want them laying a certain way so that you can see them. Okay, there we go. So what do we have here for Ace of Pentacles? For our beautiful Taurus friends, what do we have? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Brand new beginning. I love it. Time for celebration. <gasps> Wow, okay, I'm going to tell you something that's very exciting, that's very unusual. When we get the Ace of Coins next to the Three of Cups and a new beginning, this tells me that fates are coming in, you're going to leave something behind, and serendipity, this, the engagement ring is next to the engagement party. It hearkens in a new time. Oh, my, I'm so excited. Taurus, Taurus, the new beginning, the baby chick awakens anew, bursts out of the shell. And look at this, you go from being single and abundant to a legacy abundant relationship. This is your process is what it looks like. And here you go, the hanged man. You're trying to decide exactly. How, oh, I love this. This is beautiful. I love this energy. Okay, what this tells me is that you want a traditional relationship, but you don't want to be sort of suffocated by the rigors and the, the almost the hardened idea of what that looks like. You want to create something uniquely yours. You want to redefine how you see this traditional marriage relationship that could be have a very strong basis in like religious beliefs or cultural beliefs. So you're working at redefining what does that look like? What is what is this legacy for me look like? How do I put my Taurus fingerprint on this? I know how I put my Taurus fingerprint on the Nine of Pentacles, but look at the death card on singlehood. Uh, not on abundance, though. You're going to the 10. The Emperor card comes in. Somebody comes in and takes a leadership role. The That's Aries energy. Oh, my goodness. Scorpio energy. Scorpio energy. By releasing something, you are releasing something. You brought this energy in. The Seven, the chariot card is all about moving forward very rapidly after a period in which you were really hanging out. You're sort of, for many of you, just honestly feeling pretty depressed, you know, feeling as though life just wasn't giving you what you wanted. And look at this blessing, this blessing that's coming through for your Taurus. It's incredible. The lover's card, somebody who's very intellectual, somebody who's very smart. You are all so this could be a Gemini, it could be Aquarius. When we look at the Hierophant card, you could be dealing with another Taurus. Taurus, you've shown up in your reading. Hello, Taurus. How are you today? I love the hanged man, too. That looking at things from a different perspective is actually quite charming. He's Cancerian. He, she uh, is Cancerian. And it's, you know, we're, you are really looking to redefine your future in a way that does not leave you left in the cold or leave you feeling sad. See, and you left this behind as I was talking about that energy. Uh, those cards popped out. You've left it behind and victoriously so. So for those of you who are caught in this energy right now, please meditate. Go over to Laws of Attraction. Esther Hicks has some great meditations to get you out of this mindset so that you can make this happen much more quickly. Because look at, this is actually the tail end of a relationship. And it's you're, you have been blocking some of the energy of something coming in new. But look at you. Oh, there it is. All right. What's the sun? Why is the sun card here? Oh, the sun card is clarified by the sun card. Leo energy in the house. Somebody very, very, that really makes you happy, that you make them happy. They're joyful. You're soulmates with this person both really intellectually uh, enlightened people. You know, Aquarius energy is about redefining the old, you know, having structure, but really redefining that which is toxic, perhaps in old expectations and realigning it with a more, much more contemporary view, a much more healthy and enlightening viewpoint. The Ace of Wands moving forward with great happiness, joy, the beginning of a new um, passionate 
passionate uh, love affair with life, with love, with all of Many of you will start more than, than one um, new thing. Many of you will start another job. You know, you'll start a new relationship. You could be moving. The three of coins. You may meet this person through work. And at first you may see work as the obstacle. You may have some hesitancy to date someone at work or with whom you've met through a job their job, your job, any job. <laughs> so you could be in an environment where you could be at a neutral location and meet somebody who works there. All right, beautiful daughter of cups. Oh, you have this gentle, very provocative, very lovely energy about you. You're not looking at your phone all the time. You're really centered and you're looking outward. You're looking outward at life. You're, you know, you're looking at people. You know, your head is not down and buried in, in uh, technology. You're open. You've opened your heart again. Why was the Five of Cups card here for you in the past? Why was this Five of Cups card here? Oh, judgment. Okay, so the Five of Cups and the Five of Coins indicated that you needed to make a decision so that you had a better life and you actively chose empowerment meant that is beautiful it is powerful Taurus you've been having some great readings lately and I'm beginning to see why look at this we have the six of cups and I'm actually going to put this right up here with this Emperor card because these cards are very similar this is the Emperor somebody taking charge a leadership role and um, it looks like your person it doesn't look like it's you and I'm getting that you know, you have the Six of Cups, which is again, Minor Arcana, Soulmate Energy. Why is this round and round here? Let's clarify the round and round for you. Four of Coins. Well, you had held on to something. You were holding on to sadness. Many of you were holding on to a wound from the past. And then you just decided, and you're deciding it. And this can be this timing of this reading is sort of on a sliding scale. It's certainly good for six months. It could take six months to unfold completely. But it also means that many of you were, you know, you were, you're giving, this can happen in the future. It could happen in the past. So it'll, as it resonates, because this is a general reading. So look at this. Oh, nine of cups, a wish comes true. So having an open heart, having made a decision to leave something that was making you sad and lonely, making, and you knew you needed to move on, you needed to heal. You know, the, we're given the message by spirit that you've really done a beautiful job. You're ready for something new. Wow, you are about to have an epiphany about your situation, something that brings you lightheartedness, joy, and happiness. Let's see, what was this epiphany about, High Priestess? You know, you instinctively knew, because the Tower card is also Aries energy. It looks like both of you, you know, the person that this was, you had this interaction with, this love interest, because very clearly there was love. It shows that instinctively you knew that they weren't the one for you. You did know that. And it could have been somebody with a, a temper too. Really could have been. The Tower card is Aries energy. It can be blowing up and it looks as though you had a moment of clarity when something happened. They did something very abruptly and you went, you know what? I'm good. I've got it. Judgment card. I felt bad. I felt sad. I felt left in the cold. But you know what? I have my happiness because this happened. I'm good with it. I'm whole again. I know that I didn't do anything wrong. I know that I brought my best self to the relationship with you. I know that I'm, and I intuitively know that I was not to blame for all of this stuff that happened over here. All right, Ten of Cups. Oh my God, that's joy, happiness, celebration, community. And look at what else popped with it. These are two marriage cards. That's a marriage card. That's a marriage card. And I say marriage very lightly because again, it can be any relationship that is of substance for you. I'm so excited for you, Taurus. What a beautiful, a new day is dawning. You are a rock star in your own life. That is the way it's supposed to be. You come 
out of a period of indecision the fates bring you in a, a beautiful beautiful kindred spirit this is hopes and and dreams for love coming true this star card and you could be literally um, having a relationship with somebody who's well known in their field or famous you know could be I always like to call that the rock star of love because it really means beautiful inside and beautiful outside also but your wishes are coming true hello Taurus I wanted to pop back in for just a second sorry I missed um, at the end of the reading I meant to share with you twin flame messages from mystic moons deck uh, about the love interests that left you feeling in the cold that probably had a temper we saw that tower card we saw the five of cups the five of coins um, uh, the sight that you were grieving and had gone through a difficult time and so I pulled three cards out and here's what I saw this is what your lover who hurt you so badly would say to you if they had the courage so the first card is I really wish I could take back the things I said with that tower card, remember I said that I felt that they had blown up basically. I feel damaged, like I just can't do this. All right. And you've been in my dream. So I just wanted to share that with you because I think that when we're wounded, it's really good to be able to have spirit give us the unfinished symphony, the answer to the unfinished symphony. Taurus, I am so excited for you. Please leave notes below to let me know where you are to, where you are with this message in a bottle. I thank you so much.